Thank you very Good much morning. indeed for being with us. Uh, Westminster is an extraordinary environment. Thousands of people crammed into yes, uh, a, a pretty confined space on occasions. Um, what are your concerns for workers? Well, listen, we've clearly had a, an outbreak uh, in Westminster already. Uh, Nadine Doris, the, the, the minister, has contracted the virus. And uh, my understanding is that uh, at least one researcher uh, has contracted it as well, and uh, there is an MP who is self-isolating at the moment. So clearly there are concerns of staff, but I think like many workplaces uh, across the UK, uh, we're in a dialogue with the employer there as to what steps can they take to ensure that staff are protected and supported, and what steps can we jointly take to ensure that there's business continuity. I mean, this new speaker has made... Uh, very much a virtue of his concern about the working conditions for everyone uh, at Westminster. I mean, I mean, what what have workers been told? What assistance have they been given? Well, there, there has been some guidance gone out, but but our concern is that this is a rapidly moving picture, and proportionate and precautionary steps need to be taken in that context. And one of the things that we're suggesting, because our members are passionate about the importance of the, the, the role of the House of Commons, so the role of the House of Commons, I think, to show leadership uh, to the country. And one of the proportionate things that they can do is limit visitors to the House of Commons so that staff are both protected and the core business of the House of Commons is protected. Because, because of course, some possible. MPs say, well, visitors being able to come and see your MP is part of the point of the place. Well, well, listen, I, I know that it will go against the grain for, for many and for quite uh, positive reasons from their perspective. But I think the mantra of simply keep calm and carry on doesn't work in these circumstances. And the mantra should be, keep calm, take proportionate measures to protect staff, defend your core business and carry on. And we've got this question mark now over the renovation of the Palace of Westminster. Yes. I mean, it is your view that on health grounds, health and safety grounds, if nothing else, that needs to go ahead in full? Well, well, listen, for a whole variety of reasons, I think that should, uh, they should crack on. The arrangements were agreed under the last parliament. Uh, there's a duty, obviously, to protect staff there, uh, but any delays not only inc uh, increase risk to staff, but increase risk in terms of cost overruns. Mr Graham, uh, thank you very much indeed very much. Uh, uh, for joining us. Well, lots more uh, on All Out Politics coming up in the next hour, including...